It is the Friday Night Blitz, and boy, is our game of the week a big one. Down in Charleston, Hammond going for its fourth consecutive Skiza State Championship, taking on an old familiar foe in Lawrence Manning. So let's head down to the Low Country and show you what went down. Eric Emery and the Skyhawks getting ready for this one. We'll pick things up in the first quarter. No score until Brick Brandon gets the INT for the Skyhawks. And he is headed the other way, and just like that, an easy pick six for Hammond. But near the end of the first quarter, the Swamp Cats. They would get on the board. Now, I missed using this line in week three. I wasn't going to miss it tonight. Jackson Brown, he is not running on empty. Puts the run from two yards out. Lawrence Manning is on the board. Second quarter now, the Skyhawks would get a gift as a bad snap. Would lead to a safety. So two, two more points on the board for the Skyhawks. Now we'll fast forward things to the second half. And the coach would watch his quarterback, Whit Muschamp, just a freshman, drops back, and he'll find Cam Scott, who makes a great catch in the end zone for another Skyhawk touchdown. Hammond goes up 12 at that point. And after that first quarter, quarter touchdown, the Swamp Cats could not get anything going offensively. And that Hammond defense was stout all night. And again, this defense, they don't have Jordan Burtz, they don't have Alex Huntley, just a bunch of guys who just do their job very well. Now here we go in the fourth, fourth down. Muschamp tosses it out to C.J. Stokes. He gets loose. He dashes away to the end zone for another Hammond touchdown. And the Skyhawks go down to Charleston and they leave with a four-peat. They win it by a final of 26 to six. And head coach Eric Kemry, his fourth consecutive Gatorade bath at Hammond. That's his 12th state championship as the Skyhawks win it 26 to six over Lawrence Manning. It means everything. That's why you do this. You do this because you get to take a group of people and go on a bit of a journey together and learn how to struggle. Uh, and we know at the end, if we do it well, uh, you know, some of the rewards come. And of Number course, seven, uh, this is the Roberts. fruition of that. We lost a lot of practices. We didn't even get to do spring practice. It got canceled. And um, we had a lot of regulations where we couldn't even practice during the summer. So for us to be able to come together and just get this done is, is really just a big accomplishment. I, mean, I think when you lose the kind of talent that we lost um, for these guys to band together and play football for each other, for that name on their front of their chest and not the back, uh, it means that we're doing something right as coaches. And congratulations to the Skyhawks. All right, here we go. Class 2A playoffs in the high school league divisions. Great Collegiate Academy hosting Christchurch. The winner goes to the semifinals. First quarter, Casey Adams, he gets loose. A 43-yard touchdown run. A 43-yard run, I should say. That would lead to Trejavius uh, Robinson with a touchdown. So that gives Great Collegiate a 6-0 lead. Second quarter, War Eagles on the attack again. It's Robinson from two yards out, 13-0. And Great Collegiate is off and running. Then it's Robinson, 19-yard pass to Justin Brunson. Now he's come on big time for the uh, War Eagles this, this year. Gives him another weapon. And then from there would be Robinson with a four-yard touchdown run to make it 26 to nothing. And Great Collegiate Academy wins it 33 to nothing. The War Eagles travel to Abbeville next week for the 2A upper state title. In the 2A lower state, the Peoria Panthers hosting Andrews Peoria with his first region title in 14 years and two commits to Army West Point. Will Jeffcoat, who's 19th player of the week for this week, and Deshantez Gray. Those two guys we headed up to the Hudson River to continue their athletic career. All right, Gillian down 28 0 at halftime, but here come the Panthers in the second half. Jason, Jacob Azmanski runs it in for a touchdown, and Pillion is on the board 28 7. Here goes Dan Holland, again leading the Panthers to their first region title since 2006. He would watch Aswan James score 28 13. James would add another score. It's 28 19, but Pillion's season would come to an end. Valiant effort in the second half, but Andrews moves on 28 to 19 over the Panthers. All right, in the class 3A, lower state. It's Gilbert hosting the Dillon Wildcats. And Gilbert getting on the board early. Jaden Alexandricks with a touchdown and the Indians are off and running. Now, Colton Mason, the outstanding running back for Gilbert, gets loose 34 yards. Mason with a big gain all the way down. And Gilbert is off and running. And then Isaiah Whiteside, the Gilbert quarterback, from 30 yards out to Gage Gunter. Nice grab there. And Gilbert rolls 37 to 6. They will play Camden at Zim Stadium next week for the 3A Lower State Championship. Camden did not play tonight because Oceanside Collegiate had coronavirus issues related to contact tracing, so the Bulldogs essentially had an impromptu open date. All right, that's it for the first half of the Friday Night Blitz. Stay with us. More highlights coming up next.